2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 cameras all running at the same time live streaming. Maybe you've seen some elaborate live streams where someone can show you multiple camera angles while they're streaming to maybe show you a close up of a product or even just another way to keep the live stream more engaging. Well, a lot of times to do that, you need something called a switcher that you need to plug all of the cameras into and then plug that into your computer. And it's just a lot and it can get expensive, frankly. But what if instead of all that, you could use a camera that you probably already own. Not only that, you could do it wirelessly and away from your Wi-Fi network if you wanted to, as in like multicam live streaming outside. Well, Logitech Mevo showed me their new app suite and after playing with it for a while now, I actually think it's super useful and a clever way to do just that. So firstly, there are two apps that you need and a minimum of two phones or two tablets. Now, refreshingly, it doesn't matter if you're using Android or an iPhone and you can even use both of them together which never happens. It is also recommended to use a tablet for one of the apps, which we'll talk about shortly. But that's simply because it gives you more screen real estate. It makes it easier to control everything. So a tablet, a folding phone, whatever. But you can also use a normal size phone if you need to. So first we have the controller app called Mevo Multicam. And you can again download this from the Play Store on Android 8 or higher or the App Store on iOS 14 or higher. And this is the app you're gonna wanna use on your larger screen device if you have one, because this is how we're gonna control all of our cameras. But then we download the Mevo Go app, again, for iOS or Android on whatever phone or phones you wanna use as a camera for our stream. Once you have both apps installed on at least one device, Multicam on one and Go on the other, you'll also need them both on the same wireless network. And then you can tap on the type of source you want the Mevo Go device to be. So let's just choose video and audio to make this a camera and tap continue. Then you can go to the Mevo Multicam app on the other device and tap the plus symbol to add an asset as Mevo calls it. We'll get to those a bit deeper in a second. But for now, we just tap Mevo Go under there to add a Mevo Go device. And again, so long as they're on the same Wi-Fi network, it'll show up. You can tap connect and then tap the play button icon and you're basically just ready to go. Then you can just install the Mevo Go app on another device. Maybe you borrow your friends or you have an older device that's probably sitting in a drawer like a lot of people do. And then on there, you just again, tap video and audio, tap the plus icon in multicam, then Mevo Go and tap connect when it sees the new device to add it as an option as well. You can now go to the multicam app again. And the top right is the view that is currently being streamed or recorded. And you can tap on any of the cameras that you've added to switch that view to that camera. And technically there's no hard limit to the number of devices that you can set up this way. The limit is actually the processing power of whatever device is running multicam. So the arguably probably most powerful thing I have here, whether on iOS or Android, is this iPad Pro M2. And well, since I review phones a lot on this channel, let's see what happens. Ten phones set up, no problem. I think we should do more. Okay, I think we've uh, we've tapped it out. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen cameras all running at the same time, live streaming. That's that's insane. You would never need that. I now want to do that all the time, but you would never need that. Pretty crazy. <laughs> okay, now, even if I stopped right here, that is probably enough for most creators I know to use this setup for live streams. But there's actually a ton of customizations you can do here that makes it even more useful. Firstly, you can not only just use a phone as a camera angle, but you can switch between some of the different cameras on the phone. Or you can tap on the screen to crop in and can even drag that crop across the screen to pan either for like a close up of a product maybe, or even for use as an interview to move between two subjects. You can also choose to use one as only a microphone. So you can say, put that one closest to you or your subject and the multicam app selected as the only source of audio to keep your voice voice the same regardless of the camera that you're currently selected to. You can also screencast from any of the devices with Mevo Go on them and tap that as a source to maybe explain something or if you're a mobile gamer, maybe you could use that to show your game, which actually would work really well with the picture in picture feature in the multicam app that you can then tap to add a new asset, select it to have one of those cameras pointed at you and the game again as an example under that to have your typical like gamer streamer set. And you can even set that up with multiple cameras if you were feeling extra. Also in the Mevo Multicam app, you can add in graphics in the asset menu as well, like a 
full screen overlay, which lets you add some text over a color or even an image to do maybe a be right back screen, for example, that you can tap on and off from inside the graphics bin. Or maybe add a lower third to introduce someone. Add an over the shoulder graphic to make it feel like a news program with images of the topic over your, you know, shoulder, for example. Or add a corner bug to maybe put your logo as a watermark. Also, in the Mevo Multicam app, you can adjust the transition that happens when you switch cameras to side crop settings and transition speeds, as well as input quality and video source latency to help with streaming with lower latency or say recording with higher quality since you don't need the lower latency for that. And you can actually do both streaming and recording on here. All you have to do is tap record and it'll actually save the main feed to the device with multicam on its internal storage or tapping live and then selecting a streaming platform or even custom RTMP address to live stream that way. But because all of this is wireless, we don't necessarily have to do it inside. So you do need all of the devices that you want to use connected to the same Wi-Fi network but you can actually use one of the phones as a hotspot and then connect all the other devices to that new Wi-Fi network. And since we've already set them all up, they'll all just automatically be found now on the hotspot network. You don't have to set them up every time you switch networks. Which makes this a pretty good remote multicam live streaming setup. Just a bacon, egg and cheese. So good. Is this a mukbang? Am I doing a mukbang right now? I'm not really sure what that is. So, costs. Well, both apps are actually free to download and you can use the Multicam app in conjunction with Mevo's own cameras, just as it is like that. But if you connect any phones that you have Mevo Go installed onto it, there is a monthly subscription fee called Mevo Pro to be able to do that for $19 a month. That also though does allow you to stream to multiple live streaming platforms at once, covers unlimited devices, and is month to month. So you can cancel it whenever you want. Honestly, it's not a bad deal, especially if you already have a couple of phones laying around. And if you want to learn more about it or about the cameras from Mevo as well, you can check that out in the link below. So there you go. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below about this tutorial, um, about the video in general. Always appreciate hearing from you guys. And I am now going to finish eating this delicious sandwich. Bye. We don't have to do it inside necessarily. Car, good timing. Once the helicopter goes. I heard something go bloop.